Good evening and welcome to the first ever virtual newly licensed CPA recognition event. I am uh, James Robinson and will be your host for tonight. Uh, we have the unique opportunity to kind of rec recognize nearly 900 outstanding individuals who are over NCA CPAs last fiscal year have become CPAs in North Carolina. Uh, this includes those who are new to this profession and those who are new to North Carolina, so welcome. Well, uh, while the pandemic prohibits uh, us from in-person gatherings, um, it certainly does not prevent us from celebrating. Tonight, we're here to celebrate the hard work and accomplishment to these individuals. Uh, we encourage you to take pictures, photos this evening, posing with your laptop, you know, posing a champagne in a glass with the young CPAs and taking the oath uh, to of the North Carolina CPAs or just throwing just confetti uh, dressed um, or just, you know, rocking those PJs. Uh, please tag us in uh, your photos using kind of the NCA CPA hashtag or the hashtag NCA CPA at home. Uh, we love to kind of share your uh, videos and photos online and maybe in the NCA CPA's fall issue um, of the interim report magazine. I also want to take a note uh, that we have young CPA cabinet members online uh, manning, uh, manning our questions and comments feature, feature and they will address any questions that you may have during the program. So feel free to, play, uh, to make any comments, commend our speaker, and congratulate uh, the newly licensed CPAs as well. So let's get started with the celebration. Um, it is my pleasure to introduce our first speaker of the evening, uh, NCA CPA CEO, Sharon Bryson. Thank you for joining us this evening, Sharon. Good evening. I'm Sharon Bryson, CEO of the North Carolina Association of CPAs. It is my honor to address you this evening and to celebrate the newly licensed CPAs in North Carolina during our last fiscal year. Congratulations to the honorees joining us from across the state for the first virtual recognition celebration. While I'm saddened I'm unable to be with you in person this evening, I'm thrilled you're joining us from the safety of your homes. I couldn't be prouder of this entire group of individuals. Your hard work and your determination to reach this achievement is so admirable. I commend you on all that you've accomplished thus far in your career. And on behalf of the North Carolina Association of CPAs, we look forward to your future in this great profession. I would be remiss if I didn't recognize the families, the firms and organizations that have served as your support team during the journey you've been on. As your association, we know the vital importance of CPAs to our global business climate, and we are here to stand beside you throughout your career. On behalf of NCA CPA and our team, we look forward to working with you and to assisting you in any way possible. Again, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Sharon, and the NCS CPA staff team for starting our evening off. As you can see from the video, they are a fun group. From my volunteer experience, uh, participation with the Young CPA Cabinet and the NCA CPA Foundation Board, I highly recommend you getting involved uh, with this great group. Our next speaker is the leader of our, our great association for the 20. 20 through 2021 fiscal year as the chair of our board of directors, Kelly Noble. Welcome, Kelly. Hello, all newly licensed CPAs. We are here to celebrate you and your achievements. Whether you undertook this journey to becoming a CPA directly from college or have a few years of experience, whether you passed the exam all at once or engaged in a part by part strategy, this accomplishment is truly notable. On behalf of the NCA CPA Board of Directors, we applaud you and welcome you to the ranks of generations of CPAs before you and for those in our future. Careers and life for that matter is really a series of choices. You have made some really good decisions so far, choosing the right educational opportunity for you, choosing a field of study, and then dedicating significant study hours to obtaining your license. 2020 has been giving us some really hard lessons about resilience, adaptability, and resolve. 
And I believe each of you is familiar with these concepts and your pursuits. I am so proud that our professional colleagues have been working with companies as clients and employees to support financial stability and contribute to our future economic success. Put simply, we help keep people employed and organizations running. Being deemed an essential service provider in our community shines the light on the good work we do every day. So my challenge to you all, we have a great responsibility to our community, to the economy, to our family, and to ourselves to continue forward with creativity, with agility, and integrity. To whom much is given, much is required. Again, congratulations. Thank you, Kelly. NCA CPA is proud to be under your leadership this year. I just wanted to echo your comments uh, about the difficulties uh, 2020 has presented us for, for this year. We are all proud to be essential by the state of North Carolina during this crisis and recognized for our, um, recognized for our hard work. Our next esteemed speaker of this evening certainly plays a large part of, um, in you for all being here today. Please join me in welcoming the North Carolina State Board of CPA and Examiners, President Michael Massey. Michael is also a long-term member of the NCA CPA, having, having previously served on several committees and on our board of directors. Good evening. I am Michael Massey, President of the North Carolina State Board of CPA Examiners. In addition to being a licensed CPA in this state, and a former board member of the North Carolina Association of CPAs, it is indeed my honor to address you on behalf of the State Board. I sincerely congratulate you on this major milestone and accomplishment of your professional career. Your commitment in time, resources, and sheer hard work have allowed you to reach this point on your professional journey. Although it has been 11 years since I completed the exams for the CPA license, I still recall the demands of what seemed like blood, sweat, and tears to achieve licensing, and I am sure you have your very own stories of many sacrifices along the journey. Those opportunities of stress testing, your endurance, and perseverance are inconsequential and faint memories compared to the exhilaration of successfully passing the exams. Your discipline, your fortitude, and your character have brought you to this point, and I say to you, celebrate the accomplishment. And more importantly, celebrate you and your supporters who cheered you along the way. This is truly a gateway event for so many new and exciting opportunities in your professional, civic, and personal futures endeavors. The strength of the CPA brand, coupled with your personal brand, distinguishes you and will result in your ability to pursue various roles and responsibilities throughout your career. Since being a licensed CPA, my career journey has allowed me the privilege of working in public accounting as an auditor, working for a major software company, and now as an executive in the financial services industry. The breadth and depth of business acumen and skill sets you have obtained will allow you to be a thought leader and one to affect change. And your ability to affect change will extend beyond the borders of your professional career. Both civic organizations and your communities need your influence, integrity, and leadership to drive change. With the unprecedented times and social awakenings that we have experienced in our state, country, and globally, these events call upon our profession of CPAs and each of us to use our voices and make the difference. And that difference will result in stronger communities and a place of inclusion and equity. I challenge each of you to be leaders through the powerful sharing of your knowledge and resources while advocating to bridge the gap for the greater good of all. Again, on behalf of myself and the North Carolina State Board of CPA Examiners, congratulations 
on joining this great profession of over 20,000 North Carolina licensed CPAs. And thank you for the difference you will make to uphold it and build upon it to make it even greater. Thank you, Michael, for your leadership of our state boards examiners. I believe that we can all agree that at one point or another, it felt like we were just giving blood, sweat, tears to achieve license. license. The, hard, the hard work to get there is no small feat. I encourage you all to act on Michael's words and use your leadership to drive, to be the drivers of change. I would re be remiss if I did not take a moment to recognize all the family members. So cheers to you family members, spouses, friends, and colleagues who helped our new CPAs achieve their goals. I hope that you all are watching tonight with these individuals, I encourage you to join me in giving them a round of applause. Uh, maybe an elbow bump with the current situation, uh, a little high five action, or even just a, a social distance hug. If you're like me and far from family, it's never too late uh, for a quick phone call or just a quick text to say thank you and thank you for all your hard work. Our next speaker is near and dear to my heart um, and someone I am proud to call my friend. Please welcome Young CPA Cabinet Chair, Amelia Crawford. Good evening, my name is Amelia Crawford and I'm the chair of the NCA CPA's Young CPA Cabinet. The Young CPA Cabinet is a group of 24 NCA CPA members age 40 and under who represent the interests of young CPAs in North Carolina for the association. Participants serve on this group for a three-year term and we're one of only a few application-based committees. As a representative of this, of this group, we congratulate you on this great accomplishment. As each of us is a licensed CPA, we all know what it takes to make it here and we couldn't be happier for you. We know the hours of studying and preparing that it took to get where you are today. The young CPA cabinet members are passionate about the CPA licensure and we know this step will take you far in your career. It also connects you to a group dedicated to the accounting profession and the community they serve. On behalf of myself and the young CPA cabinet, we would love to share more with you about our group and the work we do. For more information, Please don't hesitate to reach out to myself, one of the cabinet members on the chat tonight, or our staff liaison, Holly Bazemore. We hope to see an application from you in the fall to join us. Congratulations, and we look forward to meeting you all. Thank you, Amelia. As a young CPA cabinet alumni, I wanna echo Amelia's comments and encourage you to check out this incredible group. Also a special shout out to two of the young CPA cabinets, newly licensed CPAs celebrating tonight. Jessica Boyd and Zach Harner. Congratulations. Our next speaker this evening is State Auditor Beth Wood. Beth Wood is a certified public accountant and is serving in the third year term as North Carolina's elected State Auditor. She is a longtime public servant with nearly 25 years of auditing experience and has worked in the auditor's office for nearly 10 years before her election in 2008. And also in the state, Treasurer's Office. Before that, she worked for several companies in the private spec sector. She is the first woman, let me repeat, first woman elected state auditor in North Carolina. So welcome State Auditor Board, State Auditor Beth Wood. Good evening. I am Beth Wood, CPA and North Carolina State Auditor. I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you and to welcome you to a very prestigious and well-respected profession. It has got to feel so good to be at this milestone in your life and your career. Although I've been a CPA for 31 years now, you never completely forget the painstaking efforts and the hard work it takes to get where you are tonight. So after 31 years, of being a CPA, what can this 65-year-old woman have to say to each and every one of you as you begin your career? And it's something I wish someone had told me 35 years ago. Number one, be patient. Even though you have a master's degree in accounting, recognize that you have mastered the topic. You have merely obtained all the tools that you need to go out and learn the profession. Secondly, don't make it all about the money. I know it's hard not to, but take it from someone with the experience what a difference it makes to go to a job every day that you love and do something 
every day that you love. And last, but certainly not least, always, always do the right thing. There is a lot of latitude in our profession for judgment calls. Make sure you're always making the right one. You'd be surprised at how easy it can be to stray into the wrong lane. You'll be standing on the shoulders of many who have worked hard to maintain the credibility and reputation of our profession, but I love so much and am so proud to be a part of. I look forward to working with each and every one of you as you move this profession forward. Your energy, your intelligence, and your new ideas are going to be so welcome. Again, congratulations. Welcome to our profession. And God bless each and every one of you. Thank you, State Auditor Beth Wood. Hearing your words of, words of encouragement is incredibly inspiring. In the spirit of the inspiration, I wanted to take a moment to share my experience in the CPA for profession. As a CPA, I've had the opportunity to live in a variety of places and trying new and incredible things. What you may not know is that I am coming to you live tonight from the Cayman Islands. And of course, yes, I said the Cayman Islands. I know it's weird. Uh, but this is an opportunity for my firm um, and my CPA license and has provided me to grow my experiences. Additionally, I've started my CPA journey um, in joined up being a student athlete at NC State University and have been in, in public accounting industry since the beginning of my career. Throughout my career, I've gotten very involved with the NCA CPA. Uh, so for example, part of the NCA CPA Foundation Board, being on a diversity and inclusion task force and being part of the Young CPA Cabinet and now alumni, just to name a few. During my journey, I've gained amazing relationships, but more importantly, amazing friendships. Also, this is just a shout out to uh, some of my amazing friends, uh, just to name a few. Uh, so if I don't name you, it's okay, but just to name a few, but limited to uh, Brooke Taker, Ryan McCarthy, Sean Feely, Michael Luistro, Chuck King, Dan Lavelle, and of course, the YCPA family. Lastly, uh, my career in NCA CPA guidance and just who I am today would have not been done with the amazing support uh, from the NCA CPA. Um, just to name a few people, Holly, Hannah, um, Holly Basemore, Hannah, uh, Mark, just to name a few of the individuals. So let's hear from other CPAs and their journey and what, uh, what began being a CPA means to them. Congratulations to all the newly licensed CPAs and welcome to the North Carolina CPA family. This is quite an achievement. And it was over 15 years ago where I was, when I was in the position that you're in now. And I just remember when I looked at that letter from the state board and understood that I was joining the ranks of so many uh, professionals whom I admired, that I was really humbled. And being a CPA for me means that I have an opportunity to serve the public, to serve my community, and to help people and governments and business make sense of a great deal of complexity. And um, that's, a, that's a big responsibility and one that um, we, we work hard on every day. Being a CPA also means that I get to live out my values of, of service and lifelong learning. And I'm um, really proud to be a North Carolina CPA. To me, being a CPA means a greater sense of responsibility to the public. The designation represents your commitment to your craft in one of the most respected professions. Congratulations on becoming a licensed CPA. I love being a CPA and I think the reason why, at least the, the biggest reason why, is because it transcends a job, it transcends a title, and it represents um, a profession. It, it represents being a part of something that's bigger than yourself, bigger than your current situation. And having been apprenticed into that profession, you're joining a, a group of people that all share a common language, that share a common goal at the end of the day to serve the public interest. 
and uh, it is a, a privilege and an honor and one of the, the greatest things I've done in my life um, to be a part of this profession and it's fun uh, and uh, the things that we're able to accomplish together despite carrying out a number of different jobs uh, across the spectrum uh, is exciting to see and be a part of and so we welcome you to uh, this profession and are excited to, to see you get going. Thank you all for the, your words of encouragement. Our next speaker will not only address our audience this evening, but she has the pleasure of administrating the oath of the North Carolina CPA to the newly licensed CPAs for the first time. Sherry Beasley is the first African-American woman in the North Carolina Supreme Court 200 year history to serve as Chief Justice. She has been on the state's highest court since 2012 and was named Chief Justice in March of 2019. Justice Beasley also served four years as an associate judge on the North Carolina Court of Appeals and was a district court judge for a decade in the 12th jurisdictional um, judicial, excuse me, district in Cumberland County. Before beginning her judicial career in 1999, Beasley was a public defender in Cumberland County. Thank you for being with us this evening, Chief Justice Beasley. Good evening, I am Sherry Beasley, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of North Carolina. It is indeed a pleasure to be with you this evening. I wish I could be with you in person today, and I look forward to the time in the near future when we can all gather to celebrate joyous occasions like this annual CPA inauguration. I ask that all newly licensed CPAs stand, raise your right hand, and respond with, I will, to each of the questions in the oath of a North Carolina CPA. Will you support the laws and regulations of the state of North Carolina and the United States? Will you perform your professional duties to the best of your ability and abide by the rules of professional ethics and conduct? Will you uphold the honor and dignity of the accounting profession by serving with integrity, objectivity, and competence? Congratulations to those taking this oath for the first time. You have accomplished so much, and I know you didn't do it alone. It is the support of families, friends, and colleagues that allows each of us to achieve our potential. So I also congratulate the parents, spouses, and friends of those celebrating this great achievement. As CPAs, you have committed to serve your clients with integrity, objectivity, and competence. This will not always be easy you will be faced with professional challenges and ethical dilemmas. My advice to you is this, you will never regret doing the right thing. I urge you to zealously represent your clients, dedicate yourself to excellence, and give back to your community. My best wishes to you for every success in the future. Thank you for the opportunity to be with you this evening. Thank you, Chief Justice. I don't know about you, but every time I have the opportunity to recite the oath of North Carolina CPA at Association events, it is a special reminder of hard work and dedication I've put forward to receive my license and of the responsibility that I have every, each and every day. Let's give our honorees another round of applause for their accomplishment. Thank you for Thank you all for being with us this virtual event. I know it's short and sweet, but we could not be happier for you. NCA CPA wishes you all the very best. Lastly, before I raise a glass for our success, I wanted to thank um, the NCA CPA team for putting together this celebration. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort in the behind the scenes. As I close this event, I wanted to take a moment to ask you to all raise a glass with me from whether you are to congratulate the new licensed CPAs, may your CPA license in this great profession help you reach your dreams and accomplish all of your goals. You are all, cheers to the next chapter. Stay tuned for continued celebrations and all full and a full list of the new members of our profession to close our evening.
Thank you and have a good night. Cheers. Congratulations on this great accomplishment. We're excited to celebrate with you. Cheers. Congratulations on becoming a North Carolina CPA. I was in the same position last year. What a great place to be. Just want to congratulate you and say cheers. Congratulations on becoming a North Carolina CPA. Cheers. Congratulations to the next group of CPAs. We're excited to have you as part of our group. We're the cool kids now. All the best. Congratulations to all you duly licensed CPAs here in North Carolina and welcome to the profession. If you're not able to get your certificate up on the wall like this, I would at least get it up on your refrigerator so that your friends and family can see some of the hard work you put in. One of the pieces of advice I would say is definitely make sure to get involved, especially with organizations like the NCA CPA, and best of luck. Congratulations to all our new North Carolina CPAs. Congratulations to North Carolina's newest CPAs. We are so grateful to be celebrating with you and for you. Here's to you. Congratulations, new CPAs. Congratulations to the new North Carolina CPAs. Cheers. Cheers to the newly licensed CPAs of 2020 from the Young CPA Cabinet. We know how hard you work. Cheers to all the new CPAs. Congrats on becoming newly licensed CPAs. Here's to you. Congratulations, CPAs, you did it. Congrats.
Let's do CPAs. To all my new fellow CPAs, cheers. Congratulations to all the newly licensed CPAs. I'm glad we can still celebrate. Cheers to you and all your future success. Congratulations, new CPAs. Welcome to the profession. Cheers to you and congratulations. Congratulations, Missy.